this. This does not look good. Oh, oh, I just realized I forgot to put the cracking board. Let's now have a look at the recipes. Okay, so this, so this Tom's dish. Oh, Eric made a Heinen chicken rice. Oh, that's one of my favorite dishes. But I actually know how to make a chicken Heinen rice already. I think I've already got that skill in me. Chicken, I got that recipe from my mom. So thank you, mom, for sharing me your recipe. Ooh, this looks pretty. Mm. Anyways, oh, the black gold truffle dish, dark chocolate chip, freshly grounded coffee beans. I mean, I don't actually drink coffee, so I'm probably not going to get that. Zebaglione. All right, so a Zebaglione is, what is it? It is one of Italy's great gifts to the rest of the world. Mm. It's a Italian dessert or sometimes a beverage. Mm made with egg yolks, sugar, and a sweet wine. It's not actually the bready bit, it's actually the custody bit. We look at, so he's probably referring, oh, how do I make this screen bigger? Ah, oh, here we go. Ooh, that's a big screen. The Zabayon, the Zabayon. It's actually this stuff here. It's the cream. And so that's the truffle and that's the soil. We're gonna zoom out now. Wait. Fresh black truffle grated. I thought he was just like mimicking the look of a truffle. I didn't know he actually put black truffle in this. All right, so that's not something I can make cheaply. What is also a crackulin? How do you spell it? Crackulin. What is it? A craculin is a thin piece of dough. Few moments later. Decorating the shoe pastry. Whoa, that is insane. Oh, oh so that's how he did the, um, that's how he made that truffle texture by this. Mm. So the craculin is actually the covering that makes it the truffle effect. And so the black craculin, which is flour, black cocoa powder, butter, and sugar. Mm -hmm. okay, so now we know what the zabaglione is, a craculin, a garnish, and wait, what? Hold on, hold on. There's not even the recipe on how to even make the shoe. The shoe pastry doesn't actually look to be in this list of ingredients. You really need to fix this template because these recipes aren't very genuine if you're not even showing how to make shoe pastry. Anyways, that's all right. We've got Google here. We will look up what shoe pastry is made of. About to do my shopping for my master cooking. We are going to Coles here with my master chef shopping bag because this felt like it was in theme. And we're gonna just get some ingredients to make black gold. That's all I have to say. I'll see you all in a bit. Welcome everybody to Test Kitchen. Today I am going to make black gold truffle shoe recipe. I've written down the recipe. There's a lot of writing in this because I was trying to cross-reference it with other recipes just to make sure it checks out. Got some the chocolate melted with some salt. Oh, I need some salt. And some salt. The black craculin, plain flour, cocoa powder, the raw, raw, raw sugar, butter, or the shoe pastry, more plain flour, water, two eggs, so the zabaglione, pasta sugar, some more eggs, some Italian dry masala. The person said it's a masala. All right, let's get cooking. I should also note in the competition, 75 minutes to complete the challenge. You want to see just how long it takes. One hour and 15 minutes, starting now. Yeah. Okay. And So, and these 90? 90 ish. And then now we want another 90 grams. Okay. Like that, 
That's the chocolate. Finally chop the chocolate. It says put in the oven for one at 190 degrees for 10 minutes or until it starts to bubble. That has to go in. Let's go with 50 grams of honey flour and 50 grams of sugar. Cocoa powder. Two grams of cocoa powder. Two grams of butter. And mix it all together. It's looking like this at the moment. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can smell the chocolate melting in the oven right now. Just see how the odds are bubbling. Probably just keep an eye out on that. I should probably check on this. I think it's burning. That doesn't look too great. We'll just put that there for now. Oh yeah, I need to put some salt on it. Salt on the top. I do quite like the smoky smell of it. I think that would really add depth of flavor to the dish. In the meantime, this is not really combining as well as hoping. They're looking really crumbly at the moment. Look at my bowl. This is so cool. It's actually... The recipe checks out. Roll this out. Wash my hands. Please. Dough. Rolling pin. And now I need to roll this out. That seems pretty thin now. All I need to do now is put this boy into the freezer. Shoe pastry. I've been reading up on shoe pastries and there is a very fine art of making it and it is very easy to screw up if it's done wrong. Here is a stove top I have prepared earlier. Now we need a pot. But I also need that for the 100 ml of water, grams of butter. Need more butter. 100 ml of water. So whilst that's melting, I need to get 50 grams of flour ready. Mix these two together. So everything's melted. Flour again. Oh, I forgot to throw in the um, cocoa powder. I wanted to do that really quickly. It's really going to combine together. Smush it all up. Just slow and steady. Air that out a bit. I'm gonna get some eggs cracking. One egg, two eggs. Whisk these eggs together. Look at this nice whisky scoop. Mm. Beautiful whisky scoop. So I've just sort of smushed it on the bottom just to try and give it as much surface area. You want it at 40 degrees Celsius. Good thing I have a thermometer. Um, 60 degrees at the moment, so I'm just gonna let this cool down a little bit more. But in the meantime, I think I might prepare my nozzle so I can start piping this brand new piping bag right here. The nozzle tip I am thinking of, the round one. Ta-da! it so it doesn't leak through. Beautiful. Is going. Has this cooled down yet? 49 degrees Celsius. Time, I think I'll separate my eggs for the zaplayone. Get another bowl and make four egg yolks. Egg number one. Egg number two. Beautiful. Egg number three. Egg number four. Let's check the temperature again. Yeah, I think it's good now. We're ready to put in the eggs. Slowly throw in one egg's worth. Mix that together. Do the, the smoosh technique with the spatula. Smoosh, smoosh, smoosh. Oh, this is working. Yes, this is it. I'm thinking it's due a bit thick. I'm putting more eggs. Smoosh, smoosh, smoosh. 29 minutes and 42 seconds to go. Oh, all right, I need to hurry up. So it's looking like this at the moment. You grab the spatula, dip it in there, and then you like drag it out. Looks to be doing the V test. We're gonna say pastry is good. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Ooh. Push it in there. Right, that's good. 
Let's stop fighting this. Oh, I need to set up baking sheet. Four. Okay, so I really only have enough space for nine of these. Take this 190 degrees. It's now baking, which means we can now start on the zablione. Oh, okay, so this is actually on a double boiler. I need 21 minutes and 47 seconds left. Stream page 3 has just gotten in the oven, which only gives me one minute to prepare everything. I need to put all the ingredients in Worth of sugar. It's like a 50 ish quarter cup of this. My egg yolks. Oh, I need a whisk. So I think we have a, and we have an electric whisk, which is fine. I need half a cup's worth of this. I should try this first. Mm. I think I'm just gonna stop here. I'm stopping at night and it doesn't look great at the moment. Let's put it all together. Oh, this is, is right. Oh, okay, hold on. I really screwed this up. I wasn't meant to add the cream in. Okay, right, right. Let's do it. 15 minutes and 28 seconds to go. Okay, Russian pastry really isn't looking right. But let me just show you what my shoe pastry is looking like. Okay, so this is what my shoe pastry is currently looking like. I can't actually open this oven because it says because it uses the moisture in the dough for it to rise. I think I must have piped it wrong. Like what is happening to this guy here? This doesn't look great, but this is all we can do. Uh, time to add to my egg white collection here. Let's crack some more eggs. Taste this. Um, soil that I made. Oh yeah, it tastes pretty good. One. Oh shit. There's a little egg in there. Oh my god, I broke this here. Four. The whole thing can go there. That's fine. This is all the egg whites I have in this recipe. You see, cast sugar, egg yolks, dry masala, all mixed together. Oh, I need to turn this back on. This is what it's looking like at the moment without the cream in it. About 10 minutes worth of whisking. Yeah, something definitely went wrong with this pastry. What is this? This does not look like. Oh, oh I just realized I forgot to put the cracker bone in it. Good thing we have extra shoe pastry. This is definitely not right. Oh my god, I think it is getting thicker. This looks good. This is cool. I don't know. What do you think? What do you think? It's definitely thicker than what it was before. I think that looks pretty good. I'm now going to put it in a bowl of ice. Mm, what does it taste like? Oh, that's pretty good actually. A lot of whiskey. Yummy. Let's put this somewhere. This is my leftover shoe. I think what I'll do is make it smaller. Giving the shoe pastry a little bit more love. Oh, and I also need to put in the cracker wrong. Please crack away on the shoe dough ball. We'll just have to see how this goes. There's a bit on the So this goes on top of the shoe pastry like so. This looks really heavy. I don't know if this is going to do very well. I think like a shot glass here. Can you the judges? Alright, let's just put this in the oven and hope for the best. Good luck. Mm. 
Okay, so this is really interesting. I just got this out of the oven and you can actually see the difference between what the cracker bomb without the cracker bomb looks like. It's actually formed a perfectly round shape with it. Like who would have thought? Now, now we're on to something here. Good evening, everybody. We are back in test kitchen. I have done a second batch of the crackling with the shoe pastry on the top. This is how it's looking like at the moment. There's a few cracked ones, like this one didn't quite turn out great. But you only really need three that looks good. And this one looks really good. I'm really happy with how this one looks. And this one as well. We're just going to plate this up and enjoy how it tastes like. Okay, so it's plating time. This is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking of putting the crackling in the middle of the plate. You know, we want symmetry here. Piping the zaplione didn't quite turn out as well as hoping for. It was a bit splodgy. So I'm just gonna cover up with all the soil and just really decorate it with some grapes. So I thought I'd just do a taste testing to see just really how this dish has turned out. Oh, and so we gotta do the side on review. I didn't really put a whole lot of cream in there. I probably should put more cream in. I'll take note of that next time. This stuff, it tastes just like a brownie. It's just 100% chocolate. I'm really happy with it. Yeah, definitely more cream. I would, I would probably fill this guy up with cream and it would just be delicious. The grape is really refreshing. I think it really needs the grape. The grape really works well with the smokiness of the dark chocolate. Really crunchy. I really like this crusty layer. I'm just gonna finish this off camera. Thanks for watching me make this and I hope you enjoy watching this video as it is for me to make it and well I mean it was kind of stressful but I think I'm really happy with the result and mm, it tastes good. Leave a comment. Maybe you can comment on something that I can make, something I can learn. Um, and please like and subscribe. And I hope you all have a beautiful day. Bye.